If you're playing blackjack and you're counting cards, you probably would like to know how often the running count is favorable. This graph shows the running count during the progress of one deck of blackjack play. Now, each time I press the F9 key, the spreadsheet deals out another deck and keeps track of the running count exactly, as you see here. The count always starts at zero and when the whole deck is dealt out, always ends at zero. But during the game, the count will vary from plus to minus. And the average count is zero, but if you're lucky, the count will go positive. As here, where most of the deck is positive, you can uh, gain an advantage by betting more when the count is favorable, or it may go negative, in which case you bet less or, or you stop playing for a while. So how does a spreadsheet work? Well. For a one deck game, you have 52 cards total. At, at the start, you have 20 low cards, that is two through six, 12 neutral cards, that is sevens, eights, and nines, and 20 high cards left, 10 through ace. The running count starts at zero. The true count is also zero, more about that later. For a single deck game with good rules, namely you can double down on any two cards, and blackjack pays three to two, the player advantage is minus 0.18%. That is, the house edge is about one-fifth of 1%. One That's so tiny you could treat that as practically zero. So uh, when the count is favorable or positive, that's when you should bet more. And when the count is negative, is that's when you should bet your minimum waiting bet or, or quit for a while. So if I press the F9 key several times, I can see how like here would be a good time to bet a lot. And here would be a good time to leave or, or, or just bet your minimum bet. Now you may be wondering, when I see a favorable situation, let's say here, the count is plus five. How much should you bet? Now you might think, oh, I should bet as much as possible. But if you over bet, you could lose your whole bankroll in a losing streak. So. You don't want to bet too much. On the other hand, you do want to bet as much as you can to take advantage of the favorable situation. Well, mathematicians have figured out the optimum bet, and it's called the Kelly Criterion. I have a separate video to explain that. But I can summarize the results right here. The fraction of your bankroll that you bet should be equal to your advantage. For example, when you have a 1% advantage, you should bet 1% of your bankroll. 2% advantage, you should bet 2% of your bankroll, and so on. So how do you determine your advantage when you have a positive count of plus 5, as here? For that, you need to know the true count. And I'll explain that in the next video.